B1039, it's your best friend Jen, and I am here with our good friend Arlene Anderson Vincent. She is the natural resource manager for Ice Mountain here in Michigan. How are you? Good, good. How are you today, Jen? Good. Uh, you are part of the Nestle Waters family, and you're here to chat about sustainability. And given water is such a big part of who we are in Michigan, uh, I wanted you to kind of go inside and give us a little idea of what Ice Mountain is uh, is is doing about sustainability oh yes well thank you thank you jen that's an extremely important topic sustainability is at the forefront of conversation not only in the local communities but you know throughout the state and i can tell you that ice mountain and nestle waters it's a very important driver for everything that we do our business bottling water depends upon maintaining the water resources we spend countless hours and millions of dollars each year to help protect these resources but you personally are really uh, you personally take this as this is your life. This is what's, what's important to you. Why is that? Well, I, I'm my background is as I'm a hydrogeologist. I'm a Michigan resident. You know, like many others, I spend much of my free time on the lakes and streams and and uh, rivers that define our state. So, and uh, my job as a hydrogeologist is a natural slash you know natural resource manager for Ice Mountain is to study water. So it's someone that enjoys nothing more than spending time outdoors. You know, helping take care of the environment. It's not just what I do. It's what I, what I have to do for a job, but it's also my personal passion. Well, I'm glad you do because I just use the water to water ski sometimes and drink it up. So I'm <laughs> glad somebody's paying attention to the important part of this. Uh, what does Ice Mountain do to help protect that and, and sustain the man? You know, manage the water supply. Uh, you mentioned earlier that you monitor water source, sources. How does that work? Well, one. One of the things I get to do that's so special to me is, you know, science is an integral part of what I do every day. I work with a, with a team of professionally trained scientists that have different disciplines in stream ecology or aquatic biologists, and we conduct together um, extensive studies in the areas where we operate at. So this is monitoring groundwater levels, stream flows water temperatures and also studying the um I, I, the bugs and the bunnies if you will mm-hmm. that live in those areas sure. as well because because it depends on you know how you guys are in, impacting the community and you want to make sure that nothing is disturbed that's why we have extensive you know extensive monitoring programs that are exactly there to to monitor our withdrawals and ensure that we're not negatively impacting the local ecosystems so you bring scientists in from all over the country or are these people live here they're, most of them are Michigan residents. We do have a couple experts that are outside of Michigan. Oh, interesting. We also, a lot of that information that we gather and studies that we reports, we share with local stakeholders so that they can use it as a resource also in, in their planning or for their information. So recently, we also asked the U.S. Geological Survey to conduct their own ongoing monitoring at one of our sites here in Michigan. The USGS's monitoring program, they collect and publish scientific data through a joint funding agreement with us the USGS, and the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes, and Energy. That data that they're collecting at our site is published on their website, the USGS's website. And, and for the common man, what, what does that mean? They can look up anything from amount of water to minerals or what? Yeah, well, the, the USGS studies lots of things in the, in the natural environment, but specifically on our sites, that what they're doing, they're publishing groundwater levels and stream flow data okay. right around our operations. Oh, very good. I understand Ice Mountain Bottling Plant in Stanwood uh, recently got some special recognition. Yes, we uh, recently received a gold certification for our sustainability efforts from an organization that's called the Alliance for Water Stewardship, or AWS for short. What, is, what does that stand for? Or you told me what it stands for, but what does that mean? Right. AWS is a global organization that's made up of members from businesses, nonprofit, public sector agencies, and academic institutions that are all working together with the goal of promoting responsible use of water. Some of the members include Ecolab, the Nature Conservancy, the Pacific Institute, just to name a few of them. Okay, I've heard of those. Yeah. Uh, So is it easy to get this award? Uh, Getting the gold is not easy. Uh, Not only do you have to demonstrate an extreme, strong resource stewardship plan, but you also must show a higher level of commitment by doing things like providing access to safe water, sanitation and hygiene, improving local water quality, improving water governance by generating publicly available data, and furthering education on water. So you can't just take the water. You have to improve what's here. You have to improve where you're at, yes, and also be committed to to maintaining a long-term sustainability of that resource. I don't think a lot of people know that. You actually have to improve what's here. 
Yeah, I'll give you a great example of that. So 17 years ago, Ice Mountain, for when they first began operations here, they established what is referred to as the Ice Mountain Environmental Stewardship Fund. It's a grant fund program that's managed by a community foundation. Just recently, uh, Nestle also announced an additional $2 million commitment to that fund. So this, the way it's managed, it'll go on for many, many, many years. Oh, that's nice. And it's a, it's a grant? It's, it's a fund that any applicant located in the Muskegon River watershed can apply for through the community foundation. The money is used specifically to improve the quality of water with the Muskegon River watershed. So the Muskegon River watershed, it, it's 2,700 acres. It's all the way from Houghton Lake to the city of Muskegon, and it flows through nine counties. So it's a big chunk of the area yeah, where we live. so if you've got some ideas on how to improve it, you can apply for this grant yeah. and explain what you want to do and possibly be considered for it, right? That, that's, yeah, anybody can apply. Um, the application period every year is between June 1st and July 15th, so it just closed for this year. So I said it's managed by the Fremont Community Foundation, so that's where you go to apply for it. And it's covered over the last 17 years that this fund has been in place. It's covered projects from, like I said, from Houghton to Muskegon, but in projects such as environmental cleanups, constructions of rain gardens, stream habitat restorations, and many other improvements to the waterways that support the Muskegon River. Getting back to the Alliance for the Water uh, Stewardship, the AWS that you were talking about, why is that important to Nestle? AWS is the first standard to globally promote best practices in water stewardship that benefit communities, preserve the local watersheds. These are key priorities for Nestle Waters. So to achieve a gold certification is quite an honor and a tribute to all of our 280 employees who work at the Stanwood facility and volunteer in these local communities. Oh, I had no idea. 280 people are there? Yeah. Wow. You know, I think protecting the Muskegon River watershed is a big part of everyone's uh, life, especially if you live here. Well, Arlene, thank you for so much for your time to come in and talk to us. Uh, it's been really interesting learning about some of Ice Mountain's sustainability efforts. Uh, there's certainly much more to learn. If anyone listening is interested in learning more about what Ice Mountain and Nestle Waters are doing to support sustainability in Michigan, please visit their websites at nestle-watersna.com.